Hi guys, I um, I thought I might do a little bit of a different short Sunday today. Actually, when I'm videoing, I am, it is Saturday night, therefore it is January 6th, and January 6th is the 12th day of Christmas. Yes, it is 12th night right now. And uh, what I was thinking about a little bit today, among other things, was gratitude. What am I grateful for? And I know one thing very recently that popped into my mind. I have many things I'm grateful for, but I wanted to say a public thank you to Mitch for being my Stitch, stitch Fix stylist for the past year. I also, he did a great job. If you watched my last unboxing videos, you realized he's no longer doing the women's fixes. My impression is he's doing the men's fixes. So if you have a guy that wants to do Stitch Fix, go request Mitch W from Texas and um, he'll get a good he'll get a good box. I got good boxes. I didn't get perfect boxes. I never get perfect boxes, but I got quite a few five for five boxes. But let me tell you the thing I liked most about getting those boxes was the notes. Mitch took the time to listen to my requests and to figure out things. And even he said at times he'd be looking at the catalog for something else thinking, oh, oh, I've gotta, I gotta have that one for Cranky Grandma. And that really is going above and beyond the call of duty. I really appreciated it. I enjoyed the poetry and creative writing in his notes. Um, and I enjoyed them for a particularly special reason. And that's what I wanted to share with you tonight. I started getting Stitch Fix. I had been watching some of the unboxings. I thought it was interesting. One of the make makeup YouTube vloggers had done a Stitch Fix unboxing, and I started to look for other ones. And um, But my life was going on, and it was going on with a little bit of impending sorrow. My sister had stage 4 ovarian cancer, and it was at the point where it wasn't going to be much longer. And you know, you do what you need to do when you need to do it. So my brother and I drove her to chemo and back. She had her spirits high and her sense of humor right to the end, right to the end. Um, and I had the privilege of actually being with her in the room when she did die, which is an experience, unless you have had that experience, uh, it's like nothing you have ever had. But suffice to say, as much as you're prepared for something, and then when it's over, and I still talk to her, but when it's over, it affects you. Anything like that will affect you in your life. Um, I didn't go around crushed. I mean, I was sad. I would, you know, cry now and then, and then I'd laugh now and then, and normal stuff. And I ordered my first Stitch Fix box. It was kind of a distraction. It was just something else to do after dealing with all that. And a couple of boxes I got weren't that great. I was going to discontinue it, but you know, I watched Desiree's videos and I liked the way her stylist wrote notes because he was being, he was perking her up. It was like just so pleasant to get this nice little note of somebody that heard from you. And I said, I'm going to email customer service and ask for that person to style me. And then I got Mitch. And every box, I would look forward to those notes more even than the clothes. And the clothes, I'm wearing some of the ones he sent. Um, this jacket is great. So is my moto jacket, which is in the room over a chair right now. Um, he introduced me to infinity scarves, to scarves in general, which I'd never wore before. I have to tell you, it is freaking freezing outside right now, but I have learned to wear a scarf around my neck. That's like basic human dressing 101. I just never, I was absent that day in class. Never got the memo. Just put a scarf around your neck. You'll be so much warmer. I'll work on hats next. That's coming, or at least earmuffs. Um, but I found I love scarves. I really love this kind of jacket. And it's been a fun ride. Uh, my new stylist, Courtney, did a great job. Uh, so I'm very glad that the baton was passed to someone that can keep running the race there with me. But I will still miss Mitch, and I will miss... The cheer he brought to me in a time, oh, I wasn't going to cry, but a time that was very sad. It was a time that was very sad, and um, people wondered, I said I lost weight over a year. I lost weight because I didn't eat much after my sister died. It wasn't, I wasn't trying to diet. I just lost my appetite. 
but you know, I got those boxes and I got those notes and I got encouragement, even though in the form of a joke. And um, it does help. It helped me a whole lot. So Mitch Wilson, if you're watching this, I am very grateful that you are my stylist and I will never forget you. And if you do come and still watch the videos, now you can comment. All right, I don't know if you'll see this or not, but I just still wanted to publicly say thank you for being my Stitch Fix stylist. Bye-bye.